Thanks for tuning in to You See Me, focusing on the battle of self-love, acceptance, abuse, spirituality, and much more. Your host, Tina Wynn, will be sharing various ways and strategies that she used to overcome grief, addiction, and depression. You See Me is a self-expressed term Tina uses as a way of making people see the real you. For people to see you, you must first see yourself. Hi guys, I'm your host, Tina Wynn, and welcome back to another episode of You See Me. So, I've been getting some really, really good feedback from these topics, which leads me to today, and I'm going to just jump right in and ask you guys, are your words matching your actions? See, a lot of us are walking a walk. But we not we 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 we're, we're talking the talk. We're not walking the walk. Let me be clear. A lot of us are headed nowhere fast in the same direction. Just walking in place, talking the talk. We talking, we planning, we doing everything except what we say we doing. If you've been talking about that business for five years and haven't started it yet, it's because you're doing too much talking and not enough doing. See, my mother always taught me that anytime somebody's going to do something, they're going to do it. They're just going to do it. They're not going to sit around and they're not going to keep making you empty promises or they're not going to keep talking about it. See, Quita was the type of person who was always talking about what she wanted to do. Y'all see her? I see y'all. Always till you, you ever met that person, they always, oh, I want to do this. I want to do that. I want, oh, I'm going to, they steady planning. Because remember, guys, we got to have a plan. And these are our choices. And we got to use our tools. And we got to incorporate every little piece of this. This is a step-by-step process. See, because anybody could sit and say, oh, okay, I want to go to school. Okay, now that you said it, are you executing what you're saying? Are you walking and making that walk get you to school, or are you just talking about going to school? You see, you want to be a better person. Are you taking steps towards being a better person, or are you just saying that you want to be a better person? If the lives we are living are not matching the things we are saying, how can you convince others or yourself that what you are saying will work or has any validation to it? It is only by people looking at me. Y'all see me. It's only by people looking at Tina, looking at Quita, and seeing me do the things I say that they are able to know that it works. I can't tell you oh, it's going to work for you because it worked for me. I could tell you what I did and how I did it. Only you know what's going to work for you. You got to know yourself. You got to know what tools is in your bag. I don't give advice or suggestions for something that I myself didn't, didn't. Let's be clear. Everything that you guys hear on this show, because y'all see me, It's things that comes from my personal life, my personal experiences, things that I've personally walked, things that I've personally walked. I'm not only talking the talk. This is my walk. These are things that I've lived. Stop saying what you're going to do and just do it. That's the only way to make your walk match your talk. Don't don't talk about it, just do it. How? By moving the muscle. Put your thought to action immediately, which means you got to be determined. You got to be determined. And what is determination? Determination is the companion of persistence. It is a process, a process of inner strength that means no matter what, You don't stop moving, and you do not give up. When you are determined, a decision has been reached. You must have the strength to keep going even if you get a no, 
If it becomes difficult, no matter what comes your way, you have to be determined to not give up assurance, boldness, bravery, courage, energy. Those are all words that go along with determination. Simply being determined means you make up your mind to do something and you get it done, hella high water. See, when Quita first decided that Quita was going to stop boosting, oh, it didn't just come overnight. That wasn't just something that just said, oh, okay, I'm going to stop, and it stopped. It was a process. But no matter what, I was determined that I was going to stop. See, when they first threw Quita in drug court and they first told her she, no. Yes, I had every extrinsic reason to stay clean. My daughter, my housing, they were providing me with food stamps. I had every reason to do what these people were saying, but it wasn't something that I wanted. But the determination that was in me not to fail made Tina want it. See, it was a process. I was determined. I was determined that no matter what people said, I was going to overcome that. I was going to beat it. I don't care what you say to me. I don't care how you say it. I don't care how you do it. I am going to overcome determination. You got to be very clear about what you want to accomplish, and you've got to know what you want to accomplish. Because if you don't know what you want to accomplish, then you done lost determination already. If you just out there just chasing, again, you got to have a plan. What is your plan? You have to have a plan. You have to have steps. You have to be able to execute that plan in order for you to accomplish a end goal. Because if you don't have anything to accomplish, then what are you out there trying to accomplish? Have a plan. Be determined. Overcome all obstacles, no matter what comes Tina's way. There's plenty of days. Let me tell you guys a story. You know, you guys know I do health care, and it is an honor for Tina to be able to work in some of the places that she worked in because Quita couldn't do that. Quita didn't have that type of determination. Quita didn't have that type of persistence in her. See, we determined when we want to get something that we want. So then you have to start at choices. You have to start asking yourself, what is it that I want? What is it that I'm determined to get? What is it that I'm determined to gain? See, Tina was determined that no matter what, I am still determined that no matter what comes my way, I am going to overcome it. See, my faith, I am faithful to my faith. My faith teaches me that as long as I keep striving forward and don't stop moving, I'm okay. See, the problem is we stop moving. Stuff come our way, we get enveloped in it, and we start thinking that we the only ones that's going through stuff. And you ever met the poor me person, the person that's always going through something, that always got something going on? No, sweetie, it ain't just you. This is life. Stuff is going to always come your way. Things are going to always arise. So are you going to stop moving at every situation that comes your way or everything that arises? The key to determination, the key to overcoming things is to keep moving. You have to see self. You can't be determined without seeing yourself. You have to see yourself to be determined. And determination means no matter what comes my way, I am going to reach my end goal. My end goal is to see myself and to keep moving. How is it that you guys are going to see yourself? What is it that you're going to do different to see yourself? Where does your determination lie? What is it that you're after? What is it that you're trying to accomplish? Because these are all the things that are going to lead you to make your talk match your walk so that you're not just saying a bunch of nothing and not doing. See, walking is an action word. 
You have to actually get up and, and, and put something into it. See, all of us want something out, but we don't never want to put nothing in. In order to make your walk match your talk, you got to get up and walk. How is your walk going to match your talk if you're standing in place? And that's the reason why a lot of people's walk doesn't match their talk, because they're standing in place talking. They're standing in place talking. The time you're standing there talking about what you want to do, you could be actually out there doing it. Walk while you're talking. Talk your talk while you're walking. See, while I walk, I'm talking to people. I'm networking. I'm meeting people. I'm sharing my ideas. I'm incorporating their ideas. They're leading me to decisions. I'm leading them to decisions. And everybody is walking and talking. If you are just standing in place, moving your lips, then your walk is not matching your talk. We have to match the things that we say to the things that we do. I can't be out here telling people, oh, I do this, and then when they come to me to do it, now I'm not capable of doing it. It discredits you. It takes value away from your word. When I tell people that Tina does something, Tina does it. There's plenty of days that uh, that, that brings me back. I get up and I go to work and I do it tired, even when I don't want to be there. I go to these billion-dollar houses, and I'm cleaning these billion-dollar houses, and I can't even pay my rent. I can't even put gas in my car. I don't stop. I don't let it discourage me. I don't let it wither me. I don't take my eyes off the prize. I clean these houses like they mine because you know what? I am determined that one day they will be. One day they will be, and the only way for me to make that come reality is for me to keep walking while I'm talking. I cannot stand in place and expect things to happen. How am I going to get that house on a hill if I'm sitting on a park bench just looking at the house? I got to get up and go meet a realtor. I got to fill out some credit applications. I got to start using my tools, and I got to start putting my words to action for them to come to life. I cannot sit on that park bench and talk about, oh, yeah, I want that house across the water, and I want that car over there. Yeah, that's all they are, I want. In order to obtain the things that we want, we have to put our action, our words to action. Add some fire to them. Ignite them. I don't want to be around anybody that is just talking the talk. If you are not walking a walk, stay away from me. And and that's just where Tina is at in life. That's where Quita is at in life. You see me, I see you. That's it. I don't want to be around somebody because it stagnates me. And I see myself. It's, it's, it's not looking at you in a different light. I need you to see that your procrastination takes away from my persistency. Persistency and procrastination does not live in the same bracket. It, it don't go in the, it doesn't mix. I tell my daughter that I love her all the time, but if she never tells me that she loves me back, I know that she loves me back. Why? Because her walk matches her talk. She don't have to tell me she loves me. The things that she do shows me that she loves me. See, making your walk match your talk doesn't just apply to the things that you want or need or the things that you're determined. It applies to every area of your life. You must see yourself. Are you just saying these things or are you really these things? Are you a loving person? Are you a kind person? Are you a nice person? When people look at you, can they see the God in you? Can they see the can they see that all the things that you say out your mouth are actually who you really are? See, because the things that I say out my mouth is who I actually am. Queen is all over the place sometimes. She's flip floppy. She's moody. Tina's a nerd, Tina's a businesswoman, Tina's a mother. All these things, all these words and verbs and nouns and adjectives that I use to describe myself is who I am. 
I'm not out here saying that I'm holy, but I'm over here doing unholy things. No, I make my walk match my talk. Some days I feel like living a righteous life. Some days I allow Quita to get the best of me. You got to be true to yourself. Make your walk match your talk. Don't just say things unless you're going to do them. Unless the things that you are doing is matching the things that you are saying, you are just talking and it is useless. Be of use to yourself. Be of use to others. See yourself. See others. Make your walk. Match your talk. That's my task for y'all for the week. Come back and join me and see me again. Thank you for listening.